My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be, to be. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready to get 30, ready to get 20, 20, 20, ready to get 20, 20, ready to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promote for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. Want to teach your kids financial literacy, but not sure where to start? Greenlight can help. With Greenlight, parents can keep an eye on kids' spending and saving, while kids and teens use a card of their own to build money confidence. As a parent, you can send instant money transfers, set up chores, automate allowance, and more. It's a convenient way to run your household, customized to your family's needs, and the easy way to raise financially smart kids. Get started with Greenlight today and get your first month free at greenlight.com slash Spotify. Warrior! You landed on the Coach JV Podcast. This is a raw, authentic podcast, helping you understand the power you have inside of you to accomplish great things. I'm just going to warn you, if you're sensitive, this is not the podcast for you. But if you're ready to rise, let's go. Warriors, rise! Welcome to the Coach JV Podcast. Remember, what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your word and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, we're going to dive right into the podcast. What I'm going to talk about this whole week is really the power of manifestation, some things that I've learned about manifestation and how I'm using it within my own current life as I continue to break different micro cycles for myself to access new areas of success, abundance, knowing that all things being presented to me dark are things I need to transmute into light. Now, the reason why I bring all that up is because I've been practicing manifestation for 17 years. And my first podcast was Thoughts Become Things. And I also want to prepare you for August. Uh, maybe you've been experiencing it already. It's August 5th as you're listening to this. Um, excuse me. Maybe your month is starting out a little bit rocky. I'm going to prepare you mentally from a spiritual sense, uh, astrological sense, religious, whatever you want to, whatever you believe in, August is going to be funky. You see what's happening in the UK. Uh, There is civil war now. We are on the verge of civil war in America. Uh, We have Mercury retrograde. If you dive into that, uh, there's going to be a lot of technology issues. I wouldn't make any big business decisions. I wouldn't make any big life decisions. What I would do is I would get, no, don't be offended by what I'm about to say, but I would get your fucking shit together. Straight up, get your shit together. Now, what do I mean by that? Yes, it's going to be funky. For example, this weekend I'm filming this on, or recording this on Sunday. Internet went out all day in the facility, our studio, Friday. So I rushed home to try to get um, onto a meeting. My internet's out at home. And so it was just a fun, and I was like, you know what? It's just part of it. And so the only thing I can do is control my actions, my behaviors, and my emotions. So I do want to talk about manifestation because it's also a great month to manifest. It's also a great month to like really tie into what you really want for your life. So today we're going to talk about the science behind manifestation. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about techniques for effective manifestation. On Wednesday, I'm going to talk about overcoming limiting beliefs. On Thursday, I'm going to talk about manifestation in everyday life. Like, how do you, what is it? How do you really apply this to your life, right? And then the spiritual aspects of manifestation on Friday. Now, it feels really good because now I'm speaking from uh, actual results. I remember when I first started doing this. Now, when I first started doing manifestation, I probably had an advantage because I had lost everything, right? So there was like a a reset point, like lost everything, woke up from a suicide, nothing left. So it seemed like you could only go up from there, right? But I had never experienced the type of success that that I had ever experienced in my life. 
So something was working, right? Went from completely broken my, uh, so that was, sorry, that was four years ago when I committed suicide. Uh, when I say committed, that guy died, new guy was born. From there, I went to banking, moved up really quick as an executive and saw a lot of success within my life, right? And I go through this great awakening, leave corporate America, first podcast was Thoughts Become Things. And then you would think, oh, well, he knows manifestation. He has vision boards and all this stuff. Well, the things that I was visualizing and manifested, I had to go through the things that I went through. And most people would say, that's my manifestation not working, but it's the opposite. It was my manifestation working to present to me the things that I needed to master to access this level of frequency for my life and what I want. So now I'm manifesting a billion dollar ecosystem. Right. So, you know, we we're heading up to the a different realm of of and I call it ecosystems because why do I call it ecosystem? Because hopefully that'll help you understand. And if you're in my ecosystem, you understand I'm I try as best I can to include as many people as I can in my ecosystem, right? I don't want to have all this money, abundance, and resources and be alone. I want other people to have the same thing. But again, I can give the blueprint, I can give the path, but you have to follow it. So my point behind this is now I'm working to build, I will build a billion dollar ecosystem, right? So the things being presented to me now are the things I need to master in order to access that new level of frequency. So we need to understand what is manifestation? What is the science behind it? Okay. So the understanding the role of the sub, sub, write that down, subconscious mind in manifestation. This is probably the most important part. You can do a vision board. You can write down your goals. You can do all this hocus pocus, for not hocus pocus. Well, I call it hocus pocus because if you don't know this, it is hocus pocus, right? And this is where a lot of people get it wrong. They put up the vision board. They write down their goals. They do all this stuff, but they don't do any of the inner work. They don't do any of the work to reprogram the subconscious mind. And the way that I explain it, it's like having your foot on the brake and gas at the exact same time. Your car just keeps spinning to the left or spinning to the right. Because you have your foot on the brake in gas, the brake would be the subconscious and the gas would be your vision board and you're writing down your goals and you're doing all these things you need to do that they all teach you to do, right? But you haven't repaired the subconscious mind, right? There's also quantum physics in the law of attraction, understanding that everything is energy. Everything is moving. Everything has vibration. Everything comes from light, right? So you have your subconscious mind, which is programmed as a very young child, and then you have all these energetic frequency fields that exist. And so I always tell people on the podcast, when I do interviews, I say, I access new knowledge for a long enough period of time. I implemented the knowledge for a long enough period of time to access that new level of frequency until it became an unconscious part of my life. I access new knowledge, release the old knowledge. I didn't release the old knowledge. I removed the old behaviors went into a new pattern for a long enough period of time to make that my unconscious reality, right? So that was the subconscious. I had to get out, get rid of the limiting beliefs that were stopping me from going forward, figure out where those come from, went to the origin, unrooted them, and then understanding metaphysics, quantum physics, law of attraction is a magnetism. It's magnetism. It's energy. So if you put a vision board up, you write down your goals, but if your energy, inner, G inside of you is not in alignment. It doesn't matter how many vision boards you have. It doesn't matter how many videos you watch on manifestation. It doesn't matter how many coaches you hire. If your inner, your inner G does not match the frequency, it will never happen. So we have the subconscious mind that we need to unwire, reprogram. Then we have the energy, the physics that we have to match as if it already exists inside of us. And the last is the impact of positive thinking and visualization on brain function. If you're constantly, ah, oh, it doesn't work out for me. Ah, oh, this person did this constantly complaining. That is a massive impact, massive impact on your brain function. And so does positivity. Okay. So as you're unwiring the subconscious, you're rewiring, you're reframing, you're, you're working on those things to release them into the past. You're rebuilding the subconscious, helping the reticular activating system. God's GPS guide you. You understand that energy, the energy inside of you is what attracts, what magnetizes things to you. And then you have to really feed the machine with positive thinking. I am powerful. I am strong. I am worthy that I am. 
Seal that shit. That I am. So you got to get the positive thinking code, the positive vibes, the environment. So we got to do it all. We can't just put up a vision board. You can't just write down your goals. You got to do it all. Okay. It's not like you're going to go to take your, this, this piece of shit car that's all busted up inside and go put a paint job on it and tell someone it's a Lambo, right? Eventually the car is going to fall apart. I don't know if that was a good representation or, or well, I'll give you an example. Like the old house, I, 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 my whole, I sold my dream home oh, to do all this business to create uh man, it was 2019 that I sell my dream home. We called it the polished turd, but it was awesome home, man. 15,000 square foot lot. So I bought it when I was an executive at super rock bottom prices, right? It, I mean, I think the house is over a million now. It's, it was gorgeous. 15,000 square foot lot. I basically had two backyards, big old green backyard, orange trees, hammocks, big old patio. And then on the other side of the backyard, had this huge pool, casita, built in barbecue, beautiful home on a cul-de-sac right down the street from a golf course. It was just absolutely gorgeous home, right? Um, Oh, my point behind it, it was a polished turd though. The people remodeled it and made it look so beautiful, but they didn't fix the problems, right? And so because the problems weren't fixed, it was beautiful on the inside, but there was a lot of stress because all the shit started to come from all the polish. We call it the polished turd, right? We started to discover that there was this problem and this problem and this problem. So my point behind that is the vision board, the the writing down your goals, the, the post on Instagram and the positive posts and all that stuff doesn't work unless the internal matches it. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Maybe you can comment down below or leave me a comment. So understanding the role of the subconscious, we got to rewire the subconscious mind. Okay. We have to understand that everything in quantum physics, law of attraction is the energy, it's vibration. And number three, the impact of positive thinking and visualization on your brain function is going to be one of the biggest factors out there. So let's wrap it all up. As we go into tomorrow, we're going to talk about key um, techniques for effective manifestation so we can do this together as we continue to grow. I love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. It's time to redefine your integrity.